All right, welcome to this episode of Door Hardware Nerds. Today, we are celebrating the new year. Uh, and so we're going to be doing a little bit of superstition lore, way to bring in luck uh, for the new year. And then we also have some New Year's resolutions from our team. Uh, and Benji and I are also going to tell you our New Year's resolutions. Uh, once again, I'm Mia Merrill. I'm a product manager here. Benji. Yeah, Benji Bullock, uh, the door dork, uh, senior digital communication specialist for the Asabloy Americas division. It's a mouthful to say that I, I work on digital content. <laughs> All right, so let's jump in. Let's ring in the new year. I'm intimidated by this guy's abs. <laughs> So this is the god Janus, and January is actually named after Janus, but he also happens to be the god of doors, gates, and transitions. So I thought, you know, super fitting, heading into the new year, Janus and doors, come on. When, when one door opens, you walk through it, right? <laughs> yeah. So he also represents the in-between of duality. So life and death, beginning, end, youth, adulthood, and he oversees seasonal events like planting, harvest, seasonal change, and the new year. Since Janice is the god of doors and doors can lead to a new path or close an old one, here are some superstitions around doors. Life life is a bunch of doors and then you die, right? That's <laughs> That sums up Janice right there. I, yeah, I guess so. That's true. Yep. All right. So to get rid of a sty, you stand behind a closed door and say, sty, sty, get out of my eye 15 times in one breath. One. One breath? One breath. Who, who can do that? That that seems impossible. I think maybe like if you're Michael Phelps, you know, Olympic swimmers, they could probably do it. Or like That's Josh Groban or someone like that sings. I don't know. Anybody that has a really good lung capacity. All right. Wishbones like horseshoes can be hung over your door to bring all who pass under good luck, but it is unlucky to hang pictures over your door. Really? Yes. So if you're looking for some good luck, get a horseshoe or a wishbone. We always did the, you know, pull the wishbone apart and the person that gets the larger piece gets to make the wish, right? Yeah. Yeah. You can do that too. I'll just start hanging them up on our door. Eventually they'll just be like tons of bones. <laughs> Yeah, that will have some sort of an aesthetic for your house. <laughs> All right. So if you if you have a rooster or if your neighbors have them, uh, if the rooster walks up to your front door and crows, you're about to get a visitor. And the same if you have a spider crawling up your door. That means company is coming. But if you kill a spider in your doorway, it will ruin chances for future opportunities. Ooh, yeah, don't do that. Yeah, so maybe just like relocate the spider. That's a good call. Especially if it's already outside, just let it be. So many people have spiders that come to their front porch because of their light. You know, the light attracts the bugs and the bugs attract the spider and the vicious cycle. Either you turn your light off or you, you're just going to have spiders. <laughs> yeah, I don't notice too many at my front door, but we also don't turn the front lights on that often. Only if we like know a package is coming late at night. We also don't have a lot of visitors. Well, you need more spiders to get more visitors, right? Is it? Which part of the cycle is it? So if you're if you're down and lonely, you just like buy a bunch of spiders and dump them on your door and eventually people will show up. They're like, oh, why are there a bunch of spiders at this door? All right. Last one. If there's a black cat around your door, let it hang out. If you chase it away, you'll also chase away your good luck. Wow. So. I am at fault. I just chased away a black cat from our front door probably two days ago. So I might be having some bad luck. Yeah, well, we'll see how your 2022 goes for you. Knock on wood, right? Yeah. All right, Benji, do you have any New Year's resolutions? Oh, uh, there's a lot I want to accomplish um, this year. Uh, I think one of my biggest New Year's resolutions for this upcoming year is to take less pictures of doors. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that should be my resolution. Probably drink less caffeine. Um, mm. Yeah, I think that would be a good one or do yoga or something, you know, healthy, healthy. Last Christmas break, I was like, I'm gonna get up and do yoga every morning. <laughs> How many days did I do yoga? 
zero <laughs> days. So I have the same goal for this Christmas break, but that's not, and, and then maybe it'll start a trend, but that's not yeah. my resolution. So we'll see. Well, we should start a door, Dorga, do, like door yoga yeah. um, community. You know, we can, we can host videos and stuff. <laughs> Uh, here's the yoga pose of the day. Uh. <laughs> Door pose. Yeah. What's your New Year's resolution? So my New Year's resolution uh, is to read more chapter books. So I read a lot of board books because I have two toddlers uh, and I stopped reading for pleasure a long time ago because, <clears throat> let's see, at this point, uh, it would be about eight years ago, I started my MBA and then I graduated from that. And then a month later, I had my first child. And anybody that has little, little kids knows you don't have time for reading for yourself a lot at that age. So I'm going to try to stop scrolling a little bit on social media at night to start reading some books. There you go. Yeah. So you, do you have like Kindle app or something? Do you read books on your phone or? I have a Kindle. I have Kindle app, but I'm going to try to read paper books. The first book I'm reading, I actually started early. I started my resolution early because nice. I figured why wait um, is about there. It's called there's no bad weather. Uh, and it's a mom that grew up in Sweden and she moved to the U.S. And so uh, it's about getting your kids outside, even in the winter. Um, and it's snowy here a lot. So uh, we're going to try to get them out. Yeah, um, we we actually uh, did the thousand hour challenge. I don't know if you've heard of that. The thousand hours outside challenge. Yeah. The yeah. group. We're like more intentional about our outside time. And it's crazy what a little vitamin D will do for you. Yeah. All right. So. Um, thank you all for hanging out with us this year. We hope that you have enjoyed hanging out with us as much as we've enjoyed, uh, having you hang out. Um, we have some new year's resolutions from our team, so you'll see those coming up, but we wish you a happy, healthy new year. Uh, we hope to spend a lot of time with you this coming year, uh, bringing you some new content and we're just really glad that you're part of our community. Yeah. Happy New Year, door hardware nerds. <laughs> I'm Chris Mosby. I'm the general manager at Sargent. I have two resolutions. One, to stretch more. And two, to increase my knowledge of door hardware and my door hardware nerdiness. Hi, I'm Jonathan Hunter, and I'm the general manager of Norton Rickson. My New Year's resolution is to get lead times back to where they were pre-pandemic. Happy holidays. Hi, I'm Rose McCarthy. I'm the business development manager for AeroLock. My resolution is to simplify, prioritize, and organize in 2022. Hi, I'm Kevin Stein. I head up product and brand management for the accessories group. My resolution for 22 is to have more consistent fitness throughout the year, uh, read more books, and give up junk food, which is a problem. Hi. My name is Benjamin Williams. I'm the Director of Product Management for ASA Abloy's HES, Securitron, Adams Right, and Alarm Controls brands based here in Phoenix, Arizona. My resolution for 2022 is to spend more time reconnecting with friends and customers that I haven't had a chance to see since the pandemic started. Hi, I'm Brenda Garlock, and I am the Flashship Program Manager. My resolution for 2022 is to give myself a little more grace when things don't go as planned. Hi, I'm Dan Glover. I'm product manager for Asa Blower Door Group, and my New Year's resolution is to text less and talk more. And by talking more, I mean talk more face to face. Pick up the phone, call them, or talk face to face if at all possible, so that you have that personal experience and uh, you see that person for who they really are. So remember, it costs you nothing to be kind. May you have a happy New Year.